Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your girl Tashi and how you feeling? I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day today. It's a little warm. It's not that hot. It's a little warm, but it's not hot. I can't wait for fault. <laughs> I'm so over summer. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this video here, it's um it's called what's something Europe has changed in your mind as American. I've reacted to one of these already. But there's like part two, part three, part four, and all of that. Um, I think I did part one. Yeah, I think I did part one. But this is part four. <laughs> I didn't realize till now. So, but anyway, who cares? Let's just go straight to the video. Americans who've been to or traveled to Europe, what's something Europe has changed in your mind that now you can't let go? Mm. Uh, just the way that people talk here in America, so loud, so shiny. And the way they think it's better to have a big smile on their face than to have their natural facial expression. People in Vienna don't tolerate that. I spent... So I can't smile? <laughs> what is... I, I never understood that. I, some countries, they have a problem with you smiling. Maybe because people, some people are just genuinely happy and they enjoy life. Like, I enjoy life. I, you know, I don't put on... I'm not going to smile just to be smiling. If I have a bad day, of course I'm not going to smile. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a bad day or I'm not in the mood to smile. But if I'm having a wonderful day, like right now, I'm, 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 I'm just in a good mood right now. Um, I'm going to smile because <laughs> I want to. And I, I get the loudness. We, you know, we do talk loud. I, I've noticed that, okay? Yes, we do. Us Americans, we do talk loud. The shiny thing, I guess what she, I, I understand what she's talking about, but the smiling part is, is crazy to me. Like, we're, I'm supposed to walk around just being mean, like, you know, like, don't smile, like, like, <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I'll be miserable, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not a miserable person, I, I like to, I don't know, that's crazy. Seven weeks <laughs> in Iceland. And I learned that according to Icelandic politics, Bernie Sanders is considered far right. Wait, I gotta go back. I didn't understand what she was saying. Let's go back. Seven weeks in Iceland. And I learned that according to Icelandic politics, Bernie Sanders is considered far right. Okay, so I only found out about this recently and it kind of blew my mind. But I watched a TikTok of a lady who worked on a farm and she basically went on to say um like grocery stores and stuff like that hold auctions and in these auctions they sell off near expired or expired food stock what? that they can't sell to us that we're not going to buy or eat and they sell it to farmers and farmers use it to feed their livestock so what that basically means is the same processed <laughs> garbage that we eat from grocery stores every day is being fed I, yeah, to, to us. livestock to, to us. keep them sustained with you know a few pieces of carrot and apple chopped up into it like there were ritz crackers in this trough of food that they were gonna ritz <laughs> crackers bro damn i know i am so glad you asked it's crazy Healthcare, and i'm not referring to i already know healthcare is gonna get thrown there we we <laughs> I just finished re um I just made another video of a video before this about healthcare. It's crazy. Universal healthcare, although that is a great perk. I am talking about the level or standard of care that you receive as a patient. For example, I sprained my wrist while snowboarding. And mm. although there was a language barrier, they x-rayed, splinted, wrapped, dressed, did everything that they could to make sure that my wrist was going to heal properly. Could they care? And went into detail about what was happening to my body and how I could aid my body in its healing process. Again, language barrier, but they really did try. When I broke these same wrists in the United States a few years later, I was told to ice, elevate, and it would be in a cast for six to eight, seven weeks. I was only in it for five weeks, though. Then when I got my cast off, I was very likely going to need physical therapy for my mobility. Yeah, because they want to, because it's a business. So that way they'll send you up to this person, send you up to that person, because they're collecting their money. That's, that's how they make their money. They know what they're doing. You know, come on. Go see this person. I'm going to need you to go see that person. I'm going to need you to go see this person. That person is going to pass you on to that person. And that, pr that person is going to pass you on to that person. So they all could collect their money. However, I was told by the PA that I won't need physical therapy because my wrist can bend enough. 
Living in Europe for the last couple of years has taught me more than anything that the propaganda surrounding the United States being the best country on earth does one of two things. It either makes you complacent in being taken advantage of by the oligarchs, or it villainizes you for speaking out against your exploitation. But walking around saying you're the best country on earth does nothing to improve the country itself. But saying that you're the best country on earth really helps keep those who are in power in power, and those voices who are suppressed continue to be suppressed. They've been telling us that since we was kids. You know, America is the best country in the world. We've been hearing this since we was kids. Well, I won't go bankrupt if I get sick in Europe and I won't be poisoned by that country's food supply. I won't be subjected to laws and policies that harm marginalized groups. Uh, I won't live under a rapidly deteriorating political environment that's slowly stripping away your personal freedoms and rights. I won't be force fed somebody else's religious beliefs when I may think something differently. I can actually walk outside and breathe clean air. I can see people having access to free education so they're that's a smarter need. society, a healthier society. And finally, I can feel like I'm part of something bigger, like being in a community where people actually give a shit about one another. That's the problem too, and I've, I've mentioned this before, that other countries, they care about their people. You know, sometimes, you know, living here, you, sometimes you feel like they don't really care about us. And I'm quite sure a lot of us American people, um, we all feel the same way, you know? They don't really care about us. This is like a, I, I hear a lot of people said it, you know, said that America is like a business. It's a country, it's, just, it's all about business. And I, I can honestly agree with that. It's business here. No one, it doesn't feel like people care about each other at all. You don't feel it here at all. A lot of people are going to say the food. And you're not wrong because America's food is so much more processed. It takes like two months for your stomach to actually acclimate back to all of that. So for the first two months, eh, you're going to probably be sick. But something I really realized after talking to a lot of people from Europe is that unlike Americans, their job isn't like their main source of pride. In America, we tend to really like boast about how many hours we're putting into the grind of our job. Whereas in Europe, they don't really tend to do that. Not to say that they're not proud of what they do for work, right? but they tend to have a lot of different things that they're more proud of than how long they work and <laughs> where they work for so long. I'm not saying that culture is not shifting, especially with millennials and Gen Z and Alpha, but it's definitely something I noticed and definitely something I wanted to change. <laughs> Yep. The fact that I quite literally need an insurance for everything where I live. So for those of you who don't know, I am a U.S. American, originally from Atlanta, Georgia, and I now live in the Nuremberg area in Bavaria, Germany. I had no idea that certain types of insurances in other parts of the world existed. In the United States, I guarantee you, more people have car insurance than have health insurance. Yeah, and that here, crazy. I've got health insurance, car insurance, personal liability insurance, personal liability insurance as a self-employed individual, legal insurance, legal insurance as a self-employed individual, accident insurance, I'm no longer able to work insurance, retirement insurance, private retirement insurance, almost forgot about dental, homeowner's insurance, what should I insure next? We always talk shit about the states. Someone who is American, you are always seeing like the cons about being an American and living in the states. But one thing that I learned that was like, of all the good things, and I felt lucky to be li living in the states, was from Italy. I lived in Italy for about six months. And I have realized that as a young person, if you have the spirit of an entrepreneur and you're not 50 years old, it is so hard for you to get the resources and the credibility to just do it. Additionally, mm. it's not as easy to fail and just open another startup the way it is here in California and Silicon Valley. And that like learning from failure came from the States. So it made me realize I feel really lucky to be a young person who has aspirations and who has an American passport. The main thing that has that opened my eyes when I went to Europe. And this was when I was a teenager. I went to France. I've been to France twice. And I've been to England and I've been to Austria. The main thing that I noticed was the food. Even though that food is super rich, I still lost weight because there aren't the additives that we add in our food are banned over there. It, so even if you eat more than you would have ever eaten over here, 
over there, you still will lose weight because a lot of their food isn't modified. And on top of that, how they price their food is super, is different. Like, it's the opposite of what we do over here. So, that was a big eye-opener for me <laughs> in particular. I got tagged in this several times, so here we go. I've heard a lot of people talk about that, that they lost a lot of weight. Leaving here, America, and going to other other countries they lose so many weight because the food that they give us here a lot of y'all might say well you know because Americans we eat too much but sometimes that's not always true um it's really what they put in our food to be honest you know it's not about us eating a lot of food it's what they put in our food so yeah <laughs> Oh, for context, I am from Texas, but I live in Germany. So we live in the country. Like, I'm a country gal now. Very tiny village. Lots of livestock, cornfields. Like, that's what I want. If I move to another country, I want to be like, I want to live somewhere like in a small little country. You know, I don't want to be around too many people. Country. And anyways, there are trails everywhere. We can walk out of our house and there are trails in every direction That's what I want. Oh, for miles. You can just That's hop on I a like. trail and bike and walk to the next town. That's what I want. I want to ride my bike. <laughs> I always picture myself riding a bike and just going to the store, you know, like go to the market and get what I need. And you know, like, oh my God. A oh, lot man. of these trails go through people's property. It's their farmland, like they own it and I'm walking through it. When we first got here, there were so many times where I thought, okay, I'm not supposed to be here and I'm going to get S-H-O-T because if you're walking through or stumble upon somebody's property in Texas, Ooh, yeah, uh, you better be careful. Yeah. Here, that is completely normal and it took me a solid year to get used to and not very many people own guns, so. Exactly. I've seen this one. This crazy, and then she's gonna open, she click it, and the whole thing's gonna come out. I love that. <laughs> so my answer is security. You feel so much safer in Switzerland. I live in Switzerland. I've been here about almost seven years this year, and we just don't have the same security concerns. My four-year-old walks to preschool by himself. He knows how to cross the street and everything. You don't have kids getting yelled like snatched up and my example was going to be that people literally leave their strollers outside of stores and there's a stroller behind me that was parked there while the parent went in to buy baked goods that's what people they do that in denmark too i seen video denmark i think Finland. i'm not sure of sweden but i know like I see videos of fiddling. They do that. They leave the baby carriage outside. Do here, and my list could go on: safety, security, cleanliness, um, yeah. education, geography. It, it's a long list. I mean, I definitely want to move back to the U.S. one day, but with kids, it definitely feels better in Europe, right? I could. Girl, you sure you want to come back? <laughs> write a novel about my experiences, but I'm going to talk about one specifically. I went to Finland back in December and decided to take the bus across town. I was horrified when I saw these very, very small children get on the bus completely by themselves. They were probably like seven and five years old. My first thought was they're lost. They lost their parents. They're in danger. They need help. But they were totally fine. They were carrying sleds. They were laughing. They were joking around. And then they got off the bus. And it's because Finland is one of the safest countries in the world. Yes. Parents there are not worried about their children getting kidnapped or anything bad happening to them, really, because it's very rare. I know a parent in the state of New York who got charged with child abuse for letting their 10 year old kid ride the New York City subway by themselves. Meanwhile, me as a black woman, if I decide to have a child, obviously they're going to be black. There's going to come a day where I have to explain to them that it's not okay for them to sit outside and play with their toys because they could get shot by the police. That's the US for you. Mm -hmm. She's absolutely right. <laughs> It's crazy. I've seen, I've, you, I don't know if y'all remember that video. The video about the kids, um, what's the name of that video that I react to? The one, those kids in Finland where they're able to go to the woods and climb the trees and use pocket knife and all that stuff. They taught their kids to be independent in a young, young age. And remember the crime rate down out there is, you know, is, 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 is very low, you know. They don't have to worry about. They don't have to worry too much about their kids out there and i'm quite sure other other countries too like i don't know about sweden i know fiddling i'm not sure of norway maybe norway too 
Um, Denmark, yeah, Dem Denmark. And um, who else? She said, somebody says oh, Switzerland. Switzerland. And some other countries. I don't really remember top of my head. But those are the ones I, I remember. And it's crazy. That's to show you that you feel safe over there. You know, if, if you could leave your kid outside, outside, then you know that country is safe. <laughs> Because you can't do that here in America. They will snatch up your kid within a second. And they still do it. Your kid could be playing by themselves in the backyard. And there will be somebody there trying to uh, kidnap your kid. Which is, I know, is very, very sad. Very, very sad. So, yeah. You can't do that here in America. But, uh, yeah. Because comment below. Let me know how you feel about this video. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? I'd like to know where you're from. Please let me know where you're from and is there anything you like you would like to add in the comments? You know, share with us. Okay, we're all family here. We're all family. And uh, take care of yourself. Bye and peace.